All right, this section is 4.5b. We're finishing up 4.5. Uh, sub, this is U substitution um, involving definite integrals. Uh, so all the previous steps uh, pretty much are the same as in, as in definite integral, um, but now we have to deal with upper and lower bounds. Uh, and the key that uh, we're going to try and do is we're going to convert the bounds to be in terms of U as well. Okay. Um, so first, let's look at example one, and we can uh, step through the way uh, the first few steps will be similar to how we uh, uh, did with the, with the uh, previous section. Um, we want to identify uh, the u value. Everything is uh, rewritten. Uh, we see the parentheses uh, here. So u is x squared minus 2. We saw uh, find the derivative. So d over dx is simply 2x. Uh, cross multiply, dx will be du over 2x. So now we make our substitutions. 2x remains. Um, parentheses gets replaced with uh, u cubed. dx gets replaced with du over 2x. Uh, the 2x uh, conveniently cancels out. Uh, so we have integral of u cubed du. Now, um, we have to also, um, we, we, we're going to find the antiderivative, but we have to deal with these bounds. Okay. So notice that um, uh, our integral is in terms of u. So, uh, but these bounds are um, in terms of x. So we have to convert these bounds to be in terms of u. So let's look at the lower bound first. Okay. So we, if we know that the lower bound is 1, we can convert that by using uh, the relationship here between u and x. Okay. We know that u is x squared minus 2. So if x is equal to 1, we can simply replace x with 1 to find our new bound in terms of u. So u is 1 squared minus 2, which is negative 1. So this is my new lower bound. Okay. My initial upper bound is 2. So if x equals 2, then I can plug 2 into um, uh, um, my assigned equation uh, for x. So x is replaced with 2. So 2 squared minus 2 is 4 minus 2, which is 2. So now my new upper bound is 2. So now we can um, think of it as finding the solution here. Um, um, now we have our integral in terms of u. We also have our uh, sorry, variable in terms of u, and we also have our lower and upper bound, lower and upper bound in terms of u. So we go through power rule. So u cubed becomes uh, u to the fourth over four. Um, plug in our upper and lower bounds. So we get um, f of b, so two to the fourth over four minus plug in a for f of a, so negative 1 to the 4th over 4, so 16 fourths minus 1 fourth is 15 fourths. So this is our definite integral, so no need to change your bounds or variables back in terms of x because we've, uh, uh, we have everything in terms of u and so we can simply uh, find the definite integral. Okay, example 2. Right. Let's uh, rewrite uh, in terms of parentheses. Um, so uh, then we're going to have uh, the definite integral from 1 to 5 of x over parentheses 2x minus 1 to the 1 half du. Sorry, dx. Okay, so we can let our u value be 2x minus 1. Solve for uh, find a derivative, so d over dx equals 2, so dx is equal to du over 2, and we make our substitutions. Um, however, um, once we make our substitution, we have u to the 1 half, u to the 1 half, x doesn't cancel out, um, and we have du over 2. Okay, we do need to use change of variable methods since x doesn't cancel out, so we go back to our assigned um, equation. Um, so we can solve for x. If we solve for x, uh, we're going to get add 1 to both sides, divide by 2, so u is u to x plus 1. Okay. Uh, we go back to our equation, uh, or back to our integral, replace x in terms of u, so u plus 1 over 2. Um, we can uh, bring the u to the 1 half and make it share the same uh, denominator space as the 2. We can also combine the 2 together to get 4. And that's a coefficient that pulls out. So then um, we can 
bring the u to the one half up to the top, or we can write, keep it in the denominator and just subtract exponents. Okay? But here in the top, if we distribute through, we're going to get u to the one half plus u to the negative one half du. So now we're ready to go through power rule, but we don't want to forget we have upper and lower bounds that we have to convert as well. So our lower bound, initial lower bound, is 1. So if x equals 1, we see that our assignment is u is equal to 2x minus 1, so we replace uh, 1 in for x. So 2 times 1 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. So um, our old lower bound is 1, but then when we go through our conversion, our new upper bound is still going to be 1. Okay. Uh, 5 is my initial upper bound, so plug 5 in for the x, so 10 minus 1 is 9, so my new upper bound is 9, so I'm going to rewrite my problem um, as um, the definite 1 fourth times the definite integral from 1 to 9 of u to the 1 half plus u to the negative 1 half du. Okay, we go through our power rule making sure that we keep track of the 1 fourth, so u to the 3 halves over 3 halves, u to the 1 half over 1 half, um, uh, bring the uh, fractions up to the top, so now once we combine the terms, we can now evaluate between our upper and lower bound. Okay, remember upper bound goes first, plug 9 in for both u values. Okay, this is f of b. Okay, minus, now we plug the lower bound in for both uh, every u value that you see. So 1 6 plus 1 half. And I'm going to go ahead and distribute the negative through and uh, begin to clean up each of these fractions. So. Um, 9 to the 3 halves becomes 27, 9 to the 1 half becomes 3, and cancel out, simplify. So now we have fractions that we can uh, combine, which reduces to be 16 thirds.